What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network here on the series on how you can use Bitcoin to its most fullest extent. And of course, the main use case of Bitcoin is all to hodl. But that is not all, because you can only hodl if you can eventually foddle, and that is to spend Bitcoin and to use it as a medium of exchange to acquire a consumption or production good. And let, let me not tell you what. Yes, it's much, much, much more convenient to use the fiat shitcoin. It's much more convenient to use credit cards. And it's much more convenient to, to use cash. But guess what? What you stop doing is endlessly more powerful than what you start doing. And fiat is to its core the most immoral, parasitic uh, institution that we've ever built as humankind. And it's disgusting to its core. And you need to do something about it. It's your responsibility. And if you do not do it, you deserve the hell that you are manifesting. So act up and stop using fiat. Not because you have to, but because you want to, because you realize that with every second that you hold this fiat shitcoin and that you use it and as the medium of exchange, you justify the billions of people that are being actively murdered by the system of control and slavery. Stop using fiat is so much more important than to start buying Bitcoin. And well, one major part of using uh, Bitcoin and not using fiat is, of course, to use it as a medium of exchange, a big part of how Bitcoin works. And that includes both off-chain payments, right? Like, for example, the Lightning Network or open time transactions, uh, but also on-chain payments, just like a regular wallet to wallet payment. It doesn't matter. Just stop using fiat. Use silver coins if you want to. I use them all the time. It's a great medium of exchange as well. But stop using fiat first and foremost. But the beautiful thing with Bitcoin is that it can be used endlessly as a medium of exchange. And there are many ways of, of course, only doing it with Bitcoin because we only need to have one medium of exchange. We don't need to have a thousand different mediums of, of exchange because then we're back at a barter economy and that's not efficient whatsoever. So today we're going to talk about on how to spend Bitcoin. And oh yes, hodling Bitcoin is much, much more easy. And it's definitely much more, uh, let's say, uh, rewarding because you're going to increase in, in purchasing power, which is really cool. Uh, but of course, eventually your time preference is going to be low enough that you will have to eat somewhat or that you just like to have the leisure uh, of uh, you know, just some consumption goods. Uh, so one cool thing would be here, the Bitcoin merit badge. And that is a little shop where you can get a couple cool uh, things. Like for example, here's the samurai badge or the altcoin search and rescue. <laughs> That is awesome. If you, if you have a friend who needs to be rescued out of all this shitcoin drama, this is the badge of honor that you, that you do need. And of course, if you are one of the unfortunate peers who had to learn the hard lesson that Bitcoin only works when you take full responsibility of your actions and your money, Bitcoin only works when you hold your keys and not your keys, not your Bitcoin. And if you give up your keys, you deserve to lose every single last Satoshi. And so sorry, all these Mt. Gox creditors, my heart goes out to you, but you do not deserve anything better. Call your keys, your Bitcoin. Learn the lesson the hard way. Uh, the Wiz door, unfortunately, seems to be down, uh, but uh, this is a nice door as well. Uh, hopefully, they will work on the server uh, to get it back up and running in no time. Uh, but also a nice store where you can get uh, some cool stuff with Bitcoin. And unfortunately, also the Bitcoin shirt.co is down. Um, or is it? No, it is not. Maybe it is. Well, maybe it is. We'll get back to it. Um, yes, it is uh, out of touch so far. Uh, we will get uh, uh, hopefully back to this. But Bitcoin shirts, a bunch of awesome t-shirts that you can get with Bitcoin. That is awesome. We have layer one, the Bitcoin store of value. Oh, this is awesome. Embrace the volatility. No, no, no. We don't embrace the volatility in the... Per we do embrace the volatility in the purchasing power, but we do not on the main chain. So this is awesome. Bitcoin is free speech money. And hopefully you are running Bitcoin. Uh, that would be awesome here. Permable. Yes, that is what we are and quite reckless. So here are some awesome different shirts that are absolutely worth checking out. Uh, shirts, hoodies, caps, everything. Uh, this is awesome. This is really a nice store. And of course, they do accept only Bitcoin. That is really, really nice and really valuable. 
we also here have here where is my liberty <laughs> well where is it nobody's gonna give it to you and you're not just gonna find it lying on the street you actually have to claim it and claim your liberty by claiming your sovereignty and by using bitcoin to buy some awesome awesome t-shirt to end the fed exactly quite reckless we are here <laughs> that is nice here we're the pioneers of the lightning network uh, being pulled by the bitcoin bull uh, don't tax me bro and we are going to defend ourselves come and take it our treasure full node or sorry our treasure private keys are going to be secure absolutely we the people demand our liberty and if you dare to oppose us you will experience what free sovereign individuals can do to tyrants who do not deserve to live bitcoin is the next bitcoin absolutely we also have here of course uh, the no the second place where i did spend lightning network on or well mainnet payments is here of course satoshi's place uh, and you can write some cool 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 awesome stuff on here um so for example we can say right here really really large uh oh ah uh, world wcn yeah perfect okay that is not a wcn but it kind of looks like it and we could pay here what would that be in total <gasps> 588 satoshis that is quite a couple satoshis pierce a uh, satoshi's place is kind of awesome but it incentivizes you to dishodle and to spend a bunch of your satoshis and uh, not always nice but definitely a cool place to show off the awesomeness of the bitcoin lightning network we also have crypt crypto build things with lightning for fun and micro payments and this is a little uh, yeah a little page where you can uh, both right uh, spend for example uh, on like gambling which of course is not very much a bitcoin thing to do but also to uh, send sms or to play other uh, other games um this uh, there are a couple cool games here and of course uh, playing with lightning network is always fun and always nice uh, but well uh, increase your time preference and gaming and gambling is definitely not something that low time preference individuals do we have, of course, though also Builds, which is a service for Canadian Bitcoiners. Again, here also by the Bitcoin Bull Company. And this way you can pay any invoice that you get uh, from any service. It does not really matter. And you can pay Bitcoin to Builds and they will get rid of the fiat shitcoins for you. Uh, so basically, Builds will sell you fiat shitcoins for a sound money Bitcoin at the point of sale and sell it and send the fiat shitcoin not to your bank account, but directly to the bank account of the person who has issued the invoice. So this is really useful, especially for those that do not have a bank account because as i said get rid of your credit cards get rid of your bank accounts the only acceptable way if you have to is to use fiat cash anything else is even worse and get rid of as much fiat cash as you can possibly do store your wealth in sound money or else you will lose every second and bull bitcoin of course here incorporates the service of bills uh, here again, a crypto, we've already talked about that. Uh, that is nice. And we have here the Woolet IO, uh, which is here a French site, uh, which unfortunately I cannot really translate. But we can see here um, with Woolet, it's a timestamping service, a service that allows you to well, uh, prove that something has existed before a certain period of time. And you can also pay here with Bitcoin. And as far as I believe, even with the Lightning Network, but I am not certain. Um, so yeah, I have not used that service, uh, and I mean, open timestamp by Peter Todd is free and open source. And so I'm not quite certain why you would have to pay here for a timestamping service, but well, uh, why not digital truth provider? Well, the truth is powerful. We have here lnsms.world. Uh, so you can send texts worldwide and pay with the Lightning Network. Uh, simply choose uh, a national carrier, uh, type in the phone number and the message that you want to do. Uh, press 
play and send and you will generate a invoice worth a couple satoshis that you can then pay and it will put you out to a to the direct uh, yeah, yeah it, it will then send the text message for you uh, also really nice especially because well uh, your phone is most of the time linked to your identity with know your customer aka they're spying on you and thus uh, this is a nice way of maybe even uh, anonymously communicating cool would also be to send encrypted messages over here though i'm not certain if there is enough uh, bits and bytes available we also have Gab, the free speech social network. And they do have a premium service uh, that you can use on top of the free service that they do provide. And this premium service can and is being paid for in Bitcoin. Again, Gab is one of the, one of the many individuals and companies that has been censored so heavily by the tyrants and slave masters of the Western world. And unfortunately, the only opportunity they have to be part of the global economy and to be a decent human being that has the right to exchange for their goods and services, the only tool that they can use is Bitcoin. Gap needs Bitcoin. They do not have another alternative. And thus, Bitcoin is important. Bitcoin is for those that do not have another option. And that is why Bitcoin is so incredibly powerful. We also have here Mulwad, which is privacy is a universal right. Of course, reclaim your privacy. You've lost it. It's gone. And make sure that you get it back. And this is a VPN service. VPNs are virtual private networks that help to hide your IP information. And that will make it much more difficult for hackers to track you and to find out where you live and where you hodl your Bitcoin. Uh, so this is absolutely a must use tool for any Bitcoin, uh, for any Bitcoiner. Take care of your privacy and a VPN is a must. Mulvad does accept Bitcoin, uh, which is a must for, for any, uh, for, uh, any uh, yeah, the company. Oh, I see they also do accept Bcash. That is horrible. Okay, uh, then unfortunately, they're no longer part here of the Bitcoin only list because, well, Bcash is not Bitcoin. But they are working on the Lightning Network, which is outstanding. And we also have here uh, TorGuard, uh, which they are one of the few, one of the early companies that did accept Lightning Network. And I've actually used their VPN service a couple times as well uh, in order to spend my Lightning Satoshis. Uh, so yes, TorGuard uh, is a quite, a quite nice VPN. I would say it's not as good on the, on the VPN side as Mulvad is. Um, but well, the Lightning payments are quite awesome. And then my favorite place to spend Satoshis is right here in your local economy, on the local farmer's market. Why? Because if you go to Walmart and you talk to the cashier and you ask her if, uh, if she can accept Bitcoin, well, guess what? She can't. Because she's a low-level wage slave that does not have any say over the company whatsoever. And the large uh, CEOs of this huge conglomerate are not going to listen to you. I'm sorry, they're not your friends. But guess what? You can make a difference. Not at these huge companies. They are so utterly fucked and Bitcoin is not for them. Bitcoin is for the sovereign individual. And guess what? Who are very sovereign individuals? Precisely. Farmers. They own land, they own gold, and they do good work. They're good peers in your local network. So strengthen your local economy by going to the local farmer's market and showing these individuals how Bitcoin works. Don't try to sell them Bitcoin show them and they will realize the enormous power of this Libre sound money and they will realize its value because guess what? Good people like good money. And out of my personal experience of going to the farmer's market every single week to buy, Bitco to buy food with Bitcoin every single week for almost two years now, it works. And it works flawlessly. And you can dishodle your fiat so quickly when you no longer need it to buy food. So when you live off Bitcoin, literally, because you need it to buy yourself some food, because you no longer have any fiat, the farmer's market is 
the best way to go. And not just is it going to allow you to spend your Bitcoin and thus to hodl more Bitcoin, but it also allows you to engage with the local community, to build up the local community, and especially to help them out. Guess what? Every time you go to the farmer's market and you convince another peer, another peer that Bitcoin is the sound money of the future, guess what? You have just saved them. Literally, you have saved their ass, not just in a monetary sense. Well, you have done that, absolutely, because they're losing 50% of their value every 10 or 15 years. So you've literally just saved their children's wealth, okay? But further than that, you have sparked the fire of liberty in the mind of just one more peer. And that is ineffably powerful. And if you continue doing that, you are going to experience the true power of Bitcoin. And that is the power of liberty that is being transferred by, well, the lightning torch, so to say. And guess what, peers? I have done, um, I, I, I think, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty, pretty certain that I've done the first lightning network payments for potatoes ever. <laughs> because that was back in March 2018. Um, that was even before Lightning Network was publicly announced on mainnet. I went to my local farmer, who I've been buying potatoes and, and apples from for well, almost a year at that time. And then I asked, I showed him, or him and her, it was a family, on how the Lightning Network works. And guess what? It blew them away. And now they are running their own Bitcoin full node. They have their Lightning Network node up and running. They have their little SAP point of sale system installed and they use bitcoin every single day you can make the most profound of differences in your local economy and it's up to you to save your local economy from the imminent collapse that is going to happen it is not going to be pretty and you need to save as many individuals as you can it's your responsibility because you know that the shit is going down and you know that the fiat system is evil to its utmost core. And when you know it to be true and you do not act, then you are not a Bitcoiner. And I do not want to have you in my network because you are evil. If you see evil, do something about it. And telling others about Bitcoin and showing them how it works and helping them to start out is your responsibility. That is the great work. So go out there and spend Bitcoin. And again, don't spend Bitcoin if you still have the fiat shitcoin left. That would be stupid. Every time you successfully spend Bitcoin in order to acquire something, you should realize the immense potential of Bitcoin. And that should convince you to buy even more Bitcoin with the fiat shitcoins that you have left. This hodl from the fiat shitcoin. Get rid of that shitcoin as fast as possible. You are losing every single second. Every single second that you wait is a wasted opportunity. And that is not right. And you need to make it right by buying Bitcoin first and foremost, go back to yesterday's video, and then by using Bitcoin, not just to preserve your wealth, which you do the second that you dishodle from the fiat shitcoin, but you actually also need to build a community of peers locally in meat space where you are so that you can actually use this currency and that you can help other entrepreneurs to increase their time horizon so that they can plan for the future. Guess what? Fiat collapse is not going to be pretty and we need to be prepared and we need to have a strong local community that uh, will, will, be, will have your back. You need to have peers. And if you don't have local peers because they all lost all their wealth in fiat and now there's complete socialism run amok and there is no food, no water and everything is burning, well, then that's not going to be pretty even if you're hodling the most amount of Bitcoin. It is your duty to spread the word of Bitcoin to those that need it. And guess what? We all need Bitcoin because we all need Libra sound money. And peers, it's your duty. So thank you very much for doing it and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.